My passion for cooking started when I got married and I left home and I knew how to cook nothing except a toasty. So it was trial by fire. And then I really started paying attention to my mum in the kitchen, even though she doesn't measure a thing, and just jotting down notes. And that's where it really ignited my passion for cooking. So I've just taken these out of the oven. They've been in for half an hour and the filo's nice and crispy and golden. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle with icing sugar and dust some cinnamon on top and they're yummy. Sharing that passion for cooking is something I really enjoy and I love sharing that experience with like-minded foodies. Like the girls today, it's like gathering with friends and enjoying and sharing our tips and tricks and our recipes and I really cherish that. Presentation wise, I, I like to use a shaker to sort of try and sprinkle like a lime. And then you know, your guests can always add extra cinnamon if they like. So if you've never eaten a bulgatsa before, it's like crispy, buttery filo pastry on the outside. And the custard I use inside doesn't have egg, but it's got very fine semolina. So it's almost a smooth texture. It's creamy with a little hint of vanilla. And then on top, you dust it with icing sugar and cinnamon. And together, it is delicious. It's so yum. So I'll cut one to show you the inside. Listen to that crunch. So I serve it as a whole parcel, so you get your own individual one. The supportiveness of this incredible community in Melbourne blows me away. Uh, we have such beautiful, loving connections. It's really important not to overbaste the filo, so don't soak it with the butter. First time I ever made baklava was after we published Basiliki's recipe on the Kali Oriksi blog, and it was the first recipe that we actually ever shared on the blog. So it's a very special recipe to me. I think people love baklava because there's something so incredibly exotic about it. You know, it represents the cuisine of the Middle East, of the Southeast Mediterranean. Um, there is something spirited and exciting about baklava, the combination of, you know, flavors and textures. What I've learned is to actually bake the baklava a little bit longer so the filo pastry is like a deeper, more golden brown. And then when you actually drench it, it actually lightens in colour after a little while. So just push it a little bit further so the filo ends up just the right golden colour in the end. My baklava is different. It's a little bit drier. It doesn't have as much sweetness. And I feel that it has the perfect balance between the, the roasty, toasty nuts, the filo pastry, the subtle spice and just a hint of sweetness in the syrup. This looks amazing. Yeah, I just love looking at well, it. I love how you can see all the nuts. Mm. Christine, it's delicious. Mm. We have a beautiful sisterhood, an amazing community of Insta foodies. Uh, we got together because basically it's sharing our love of food and cooking and also our cultural heritage. I'm just trying to get into the cup marks. That's my trick, so not to overflow with syrup. Galak de Buriko is a beautiful Greek dessert. It's a semolina custard that's been baked between layers of crispy golden filo pastry and then over the top is drizzled a beautiful cinnamon and lemon sugar syrup. Jess, is this one of your favourite Greek recipes? It is. It's yeah, one of my family's favourites too. So every time we have a family feast, this is one of the most requested. So everyone has something to look forward to. It's not too hard to make. It's a few little steps and probably takes about maybe two hours all up. I would say that cooking is my love language. For me, it's nurturing the people I love. It's you know feeding them, looking after them. Um, it's also my creative outlet. So I express myself through my cooking. It inspires me and I get inspired by other cooks as well. So I like to actually separate each strand so it's a little bit more delicate and lighter. So I think it's just nicer on the mouthfeel if you just separate them. I would say that my uh, love for food started at uh, primary school age and it stemmed from my grandmother. So I'm just placing the cubes of butter on top. Now I don't actually melt my butter beforehand. Every single member of the family enjoys eating ekmek gadaifi. It's a dish that my mum has been making for us from a very young age. It's a much loved family dish. 
Ekmek gadaifi, in my opinion, is three layers of deliciousness. You start with the bottom layer of gadaifi pastry, which should sort of be um, moist but crunchy. Then you have the layer of custard or pastry cream, which should be smooth and creamy and velvety. And then the top layer of that refreshing whipped cream. And in fact, we even have a fourth layer of the cinnamon and the crunch of walnuts. Coming together with a group of people that share the same love of food means that we keep our memories and our recipes and our traditions, our culture, our heritage alive.